Hello and what's up everybody this is Speed from Speed Academy and in this video we can learn about the mutable and immutable objects as in my previous video when we are dealing with strings I said that strings are immutable and said that immutable means that we cannot change its value if an object is immutable then we can't change its value so let me give you a uh, few more examples on mutables and immutables so it will be making more clear for you to understand the immutability and mutability of the objects so let's just take a very simple example I'm going to start by creating a string and let just write it like hello world okay and if I print it like s over here you guys already know that it will not return me like hello world and it's the same result that I'm looking for but uh, if I'm discussing about immutability of nature uh, as in my previous video I have already told you that strings are immutable and we cannot we cannot change its value once uh, a string is defined uh, let me show you what I mean if I want to change the index uh, value which is 2 over here like this one and we can't change it if we want to like uh, I want like change it like high over here I want to replace the value um, want like my L should be replaced by high so it can't be possible for me to change it okay because let me just give you an example right print s and you can see that it's gonna return me an error that string object does not support item assignment and it's because strings are immutable in nature and we can't change its value once it's defined we can only uh, if we if we are changing its value then the let me just give you an uh, one more thing which will make you a little bit more understandable so in Python we have a, a function we call as ID which will help us to determine whether a string is uh, whether an object is mutable or not if this ID is going to change then the object we can say is immutable uh, and if this ID is not changing over the addition of the object or uh, removing of the object then we can say that the object is m mutable let me just uh, to uh, write the code over here for you like s is equal to like this and now I'm not gonna assign this time the value to it means like using the uh, this slice operator but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reassign value to it like speed for example and if I print like id of s over here also I'm gonna print my string which is s same over here like s and let's just check this out what output I'm getting over here okay so how okay. so guys you can clearly see over here I don't know whether this is visible or not let me zoom in for you you can see that both IDs are different if you can see that we are having a difference of like 72 and 71 like the next string that uh, we have created like s is having the ID of 71 and the previous hello world string is having the id of 72 you can see over here means this is this uh, total numbers are the id actually this whole number is an id but we can see that both ids have a, both ids are different from each other although the uh, difference is of one only but the both are different so we can see that strings are immutable means if we are uh, assigning some value to them they are completely changing themselves okay uh, so but we cannot change its value. We cannot change its value inside of it. I, as I've showed you, that we cannot do like uh, this. This is invalid. If I do it like this or anything like this, so this line is invalid. I cannot do it because strings are immutable in nature which means we cannot change its value now let me just give you an example of list okay as my previous video I've already discussed about list that how list work how we can add element to it how we can remove element from it so let me just uh, show it to you that how your list gonna work and guys by default your list is uh, mutable in nature that we can which means we can change value inside of a list so if I'm design, uh, defining my list like list 1 is equal to 10 20 and 30 sorry 30 
then what I can do over here I can just print it like print you all guys are familiar that if I have we have declared a variable then we can just pass into print function and we can see the value inside of it so you can see that returning me the list that I have defined over here now what I can do over here that I can also change the value inside of it I can also update value inside of it so let me just write it like uh, list before updating uh, or I can write like list ID before updating because I'm gonna use the ID over here and let's just make it formatted so this is your list you can pass it like ID and inside this I can just pass my list one and let's just duplicate it and I'm gonna do it like list one and I'm gonna change the first index value which is 10 uh, here in my case I'm gonna change it to 40 over here and list after updation uh, okay updation maybe the spelling may might be wrong I think so or whatever I just uh, don't uh, don't go for the spelling okay maybe so if I show you that uh, whether the ID is got changing or not uh, let me just run my code and you can see over here that my both the list before the updation and after the updation having the same ID okay let me just print out the list with them also so which will be making much more sense like list one I don't know whether you are familiar with this uh, formatting string or not if you haven't watched my previous tutorial then you guys are don't maybe not aware of this string formatting so string formatting is used for defining using variable inside of the string okay so now if I show you then you can see that uh, this is list ID before updation and if I read it for you like 1829659895 and I'm having the value like 10 20 30 but after and I have updated my list and now you can see the IDs remain the same you can see 18296598995205 which is the same ID that is written over uh, up over here but the value inside of it changes so this is what you can say the list this is why we can say that lists are mutable means we have changed the value inside of the list and also uh, as uh, as I've told you in the very beginning that if any object if we can change value of any object then we can say that the object is mutable in nature also after changing the value the ID of the object should not be changed which means that the object is mutable I hope that this will make a lot this will make now making much more sense for you that what is mutable and immutable nature of a object so thanks for watching guys that all for this tutorial and leave a if you understand it then leave a like and do comment guys and do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching